Hello, my name's Tris, and this is Double O'Neill. I'm here with my dad. Say hi, dad. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so we've got this Pannier tank engine, which is a 16XX, which has come from Rapido Trains, but through the Model Rail magazine. Um, we're just having a little look at this, aren't we? Um, we've got the centre wheels, um, so having a little look at They've got a lot of uh, side play on it, um, yeah. as well as you can actually twist them, which is quite nice. The front and rear ones, um, they're quite rigid, but the centre ones can rock, which will be good for my railway because it's got quite poorly laid track. Mm. Um, but you no, know, obviously we've both had a look at this and played with this in the uh, in the railway room today, haven't we? Yeah. And um, yeah. it's been quite nice. It's got these uh, sprung um, contacts. Are you saying that you used to put them on your logos yeah. before? Some of my um, sort of kit built sort of brass chassis. Yes, I think it was Gibson made them. Okay. Can so you still get them? I think so. Yes. Sort of sprung pickups. Yeah, it's yeah. quite nice. It's it's yeah. kind of low profile and out the way. Mm. But the Lyco looks nice though, doesn't it? Like it's got the smaller wheels. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. Because I don't know. I thought 16xx meant that it was a much earlier loco, but actually, it turns out um, we're reading the information, and you knew a bit more about it than me. But it's a 49, um, obviously 1949 that these got built. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Sort of after nationalisation, so it seemed a bit strange seeing the GWR on it. But let's say we wonder whether it's some um, you know, a preservation livery rather than a you know, an actual one that happened back then yeah um so i had to do some research won't you <laughs> yeah i'll, well, I'll keep out. looking at it um yeah. but the loco looks great yes um, the only thing i would add to it if i could i'd have some brass you know the embossed uh, cab side plates um but obviously you've had a good look at it like here you're looking at how the um what materials it's made from so the running yeah. plate you reckon was made from that seemed to be plastic but the the bod the, the pannier and the, then we think the cab they look like they're metal sort of die cast so mm. um yeah very good yeah, it seems to have a bit yeah. of weight to it when I go mm. out. It seems to be it. cold to touch, like metal wood. Mm. Yeah. Which is great because obviously there's a lot of moulded locos out. Like a lot of the backman mm. locos that I've got, the older ones, it's just all plastic, really, apart from a heavy chassis yes. and some weights. Yeah. Um, so, really, what we need to do is uh, run it on the layout now because um, you've got a couple of areas that are fine with lot locos. And actually, when we did start running this, we had a few tricky areas. Um, the first thing we found out was that it preferred to be run on a normal um, type of, just a pulse so, system. But just an ordinary DC yeah. sort of controller rather than a feedback one. Yeah, so but, it made a yeah. growly noise, didn't it? Yes, it, the, the mode, because it's a sort of quite efficient motor, it doesn't like the high amounts of feedback that the old comp speed used to have. Mm. So just an ordinary DC type controller with a bit of pulsing in it no that seems to so more than your like that. your hornby kind of one that you would get you know it, there's a bit more going on it can yes, send the power in different it's things. dc with pulsing sort of superimposed on it well i think gauge master were probably similar mm -hmm. sort of things okay yeah but it ran these be nicely a little bit of a growl to it when it was under load we did a bit of a stress test mm. of your heavy wagons <laughs> in a bit um, but obviously in your nice layout obviously you've got your um burnt humber um, yeah. background at the moment which yeah. will be soon to be soon to be done yes mm. honestly <laughs> yeah but it was it was nice the one area that we did wonder we always get derailments on your lift out section where we have your handmade points which have got these lovely kind of close areas for the flanges to go through and it seems to be fine on them yes um, it does yes yeah yeah uh, we did have some difficulty um, later on but we'll talk about that in a minute when it's under load yes. um, but mm. I was pleasantly surprised so we picked up this massive rake and the rake obviously we've got a dirty section here I need to give it a little clean um, we pick, I think your tracks probably like you said it hasn't been clean for a little while no so I haven't been out there doing much <laughs> this is very so, bits, but no. I think instead of editing it out it's good to, uh, <laughs> yeah. to throw it in things can go wrong yeah Yeah. so these yeah. wagons we'll talk about them a little bit more in a bit, bit but you've got a massive rake in them out and they've got they're kind of a metal framed top piece as well was it not plastic Yes, the actual body of the wagon's metal, mm. um, and then it has embossed card um, glued onto it. They're they're Pico sort of wonderful wagons. Mm -hmm. They they came out in the, I think it was the early sixties. Okay. And carried on till probably the eighties. No, no, probably longer than that. Okay, so there's a good. Um, but you could run. you you could always yeah you could always buy the cards. Was it? Was mm. the, the Pico used to sell those, but not the wagon kits. Mm. Yes. So I'm not I'm not quite sure when it finished. They used mm. the the, the tank way. wagon version of them. Um, that that carried on till quite recently. In yes. fact, I think they come out under the Parkside logo. I see. It'd be interesting if yeah. it's something they ever want to bring out again because it looks like it's something you could put together really quickly. Yeah. Um, I'll put some footage on in a minute for us to have mm. a look a bit closer at these wagons because they are very nice. 
Um, but obviously yeah. the loco seems to pull them pretty nice. It was only mm. on the, the tight corners. Um, it would slow down a little bit, but it seemed all right. But it would be interesting actually to weigh one of them and then count how many we've got and oh, actually yes. what load was it pulling? Because mm. um, I guess it's got some older wheels on as well. Yeah, they've got bearing, they're Pico wheels with a, um, the Pico bearings, the mm -hmm. hard, hard lawn, I think, what they called them, sort of graphite sort of bearings. They're not yeah. too bad. Okay, so it's, it's not like it's yeah, got not some really prehistoric old plastic on plastic. And no, not all, all like Hornby Dublo with sort of hardly any anything sort of thing mm. so yeah. you've, you've put loads in all of these as well so you've gone through that effort oh yes done all that yes mm. bit of proof here that it's pico and were they the couplings that you got with it or no did you oh no they're, they're just back one ones okay they were the hornby you could either put hornby dublo type ones on or um well trying or whatever no the normal tension lock yeah but i sort of modified it so you could get the uh the back one type ones on okay so this is the wonderful that's, that's, packaging. Yeah, that's one of the old sort of nineteen sixties boxes. Mm. Um, that they they change later on, but um, they put the, the the body, the embossing card on as that was part of the label in the clear lid. So you saw what you were getting. And you've got sense. two there, haven't you? Yes, there's two. There's two sheets because you can say that an end, a side, and an end. Okay, so sort of thing. And then you just twice. glue them onto the metal um, body, which mm. is. In that in that this packet here, yeah, the the side frames for the chassis inside mm. there, I think. So you've got your but collectible packet with everything still. Yes, as so I have that. Um, yeah, because it was an old one. I've left it as want, it was. You might as well keep it that way. For yes, a, yeah, because yeah, I think I've got that wagon anyway. That with those, those sides, so I thought I might as well leave that. So when you go to shows, I take it you're looking for these quite I, a lot. You, if I see, I used to a lot, but mm. I sort of sort of try and control myself. You've got but, a few of them there already. Yes, and I've got about the same amount of um, lime wagons as well. Oh right. So <laughs> um, there's a few salt ones. You, mm. you did, did yes, yeah, salt, lime, the and then the five, three, five, and seven plank wagons, mm. um, and then. Yeah, I think, like, and, then, and then the tank ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, moving on to what it's putting out, it's the siphon. Um, well, what's it? It's, it's, a, it's not a coach, it's not a wagon, it's not a van. Um, well, they be They're used for milk siphons. or parcels, anything. Yeah, so we saw recently um, that there's been some new ones that have been announced. So you've got an Airfix one on these, and then you've got, is it a kit? Yeah, the, the t first two were Ian Kirk, not a uh, monster mm. kits. Um, which was, again, it's just a, a um, sort of parcels van. Mm. Um, but I think one of them's outside frames, and the yes, the the, the first one's inside, and the yeah. second one's outside. Okay. So you can see the framework mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then, say, so the last one is a normal siphon. I, I think it's a siphon H. Yeah. I think. By you, do you think you'll get the new ones? Sorry, you I, can see who's I, fine. I, I, um, yes, they were by Airfix originally, and then I think Mainline made them for a while, and then Hornby oh, in yeah. the end. Um, I don't know, it's say one of the Accura scale, isn't that's it? That's right, the they did a nice little video up, and they've put a lot yeah. of work into it. I think that's a G of a feeling, the one with the okay. flat. I think it's got the flat roof, I think, I mm. might be wrong. Okay. But that's the, the H, sort of slightly bigger, so um, right. well, that's yeah, great. it would be interesting, yes. So, I just want to say... A big thank you for everyone that's watching. Thank you to Dad for uh, all right, coming to do it. Shorter video today, but uh, I just want to say a big thank you to my patrons and my channel members. Your help is very much um, appreciated, and uh, some of that support goes towards getting locos like this so I can talk to you about them. Obviously, we've talked a bit about these wagons, but the loco seems like a nice loco. Um, I'm not going to go and rip it to bits and you know break it apart but the details are lovely it runs really nicely and it's something of interest to me but if you know a bit more about the loco and that you want or you know if it why it's got gwr on it that'd be really nice to know so leave a comment below um if not take care and uh, look after yourselves see you later and bye bye